In this video, I want to show you how you can make changes to your navigation menu on your website. Your main navigation menu is in the header of your site, and it will be on every page of your site with links to your news, events, calendar, and as you add new content, this video will show you how you can add that to your menu as well, so site visitors can find information and content on your site. I'm logged into the site as an admin, so when I mouse over the menu here, I get this Edit Main Navigation menu button, which I click on to come to the editor. Inside of your navigation editor, you'll be able to look at a visual representation of your menu right here with these easy drag and drop buttons. For example, I can hold the left mouse key down, drag news down there, and then when I save it, I've now put news right here. We'll go back to edit it, and you'll be able to see we also have the ability to create submenus, which are menus underneath. For example, events has the submenus for calendar and event photos, and the way it looks here is calendar and event photos are indented. If I wanted calendar to come out, I would click the left arrow button and save it. And now calendar is a main menu item with event photos underneath it. You can do a couple of other things to add new menu items. And on the left side over here, we have our pages list. When you add a new page to your site, it will automatically show up over here. To add it to your menu, you simply check the box and hit Add Selected. And you see it pops up right over here. You can move it to wherever you would like to have it and save it. And now you've got new page for menu video. You can see that the template dynamically expands to make room for larger menu items. So if you wanted to have a really large menu, it would just keep coming down. However, maybe you don't want it to look quite like that, so you can edit it again. And you'll click on the box here, come to the label, and we'll just call this new page. And we'll hit save. And now it says new page. And that's how you change the way the name of it is. That uh, drop down, as you can see here when I click this to uncollapse it, it has the URL for it, title attributes, if you wanted to add a CSS class. And if you wanted to remove it, you would simply click the remove and save. And now it's not on the menu again. And if you come back here, you see the page still exists when you remove it. It just doesn't keep it here in the navigation. You can add a custom item, and so if you wanted to link to an outside website, for example, you would enter the URL, what you wanted to call it, and you would hit save. And now you've got another one that links directly to an external site. So it's pretty simple to make changes to your navigation and to add things to it. I showed you a little bit about the custom, how to remove, moving them around, and how to create the different tiers by using our indent feature. And hopefully you'll have a lot of fun using this to create a great menu for your site visitors to get around in tenancy.